Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a, a very, very special guest with me. I have Rob Burmeister who has been on several cooking competition shows, for instance, Chopped. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, coming up, Cutthroat Kitchen. Uh -huh. Yeah, own brand. Okay, and he also has his own radio show and that is called? Chewing the Fat with Big and Beefy on Blog Talk Radio. And what is that about? Uh, it's all about food. It's myself and my co-host from Hell's Kitchen, Clemenza Caserta. And uh, we just talk about food. We have a verbal food fight. We do a top five food trends, everything. We always have celebrity chefs on, like yourself, as a guest. Okay, so now what are you making for us today? Uh, today I am making chipotle root beer ribs. Barbecue style, but right at home in your oven. You don't even need a grill. Now this is your recipe. This is my recipe. And how did you come up with this recipe? I do love doing barbecue, but in the winter I don't like going out by the grill, so I came up with a good one to do right in your, at home. All right, so tell me, what you got? All right, so we're doing the chipotle rub. I make my own chipotle chili powder. So I grind up chipotles and add all the stuff, so uh, that's what we're gonna be using. But okay. the base is four cups of brown sugar, we got a cup and a half of salt. Dude, that's a lot of brown sugar. <laughs> yes, it is, but it, t trust me when I tell you, it's great. Okay. We got a cup of my homemade chipotle chili powder. And then the last, you have a cup of stuff that you can add whatever else you'd like to. Okay. So I have some smoked paprika. I have Old Bay seasoning, black pepper garlic powder, because you got to have the garlic in there, and some dry thyme. Holy moly. So, I mean, this is for a lot of ribs. This isn't just for one rack of ribs. Okay. So. But can you use this rub with any other type of meat? You can use this with every type of meat. You can keep it for months. Just put it in an airtight container. Okay. You know, Tupperware or whatever. Ziploc baggie. Ziploc bag. And um, you can put it on anything. Chicken. This is perfect for ribs, pulled pork, and you name it. But uh, yeah, so this is done, and then uh, when we come back, I'll show you how to rub the ribs. Okay. Okay, so how much, or how many pounds would this rub actually work with? Uh, this is good for around 40 to 50 pounds. Oof. Okay, so you have baby back ribs? Baby back ribs, yes. All right, now what do we do? All right, so you just take, you don't even have to measure this. You just liberally rub it on, because we're gonna leave this in the fridge for about a couple of hours, just so we can cure the meat almost. Oh, okay. So uh, we'll flip this and get all sides of that. The reason there's so much brown sugar is because this is gonna actually turn into the sauce later on. Oh, nice. Yeah, so here we go, it's rubbed. Just wrap it up right with your aluminum foil. Make like, you know, little pouches on the side. And then you put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, right? Okay, so we got two hours and we'll be back and we're gonna have some super marinated pork ribs. Look at this. The brown sugar has kind of caramelized itself and turned to a Right, it almost liquefies and seals all the goodness into that pork. Yay. And the salt too. Okay. So what we're gonna do with this now that we make sure that it's, it's good, we're gonna wrap it right back up in the same container. Okay. And now is the best part of it. You take your root beer, and you be very careful. Look at that. All right, you do about a cup of root beer in there. But actually, this is a pretty ingenious method. Right. And you don't even gotta crumple it up because you just like fold it over. Because if you want, you can always add more root beer to it, and it's gonna steam the ribs. It's gonna make the sugar of the rub get like a barbecue sauce syrup in there. Oh my goodness, okay. So, this is looking kind of fancy. Right. I like so, this. So, you know, you preheat your oven to about 300, maybe two and a half hours in the oven. Let's do it. And then it should be uh, all set to go. Okay, so we say it's been about two and a half, three hours? Right. Okay, perfect. Let's get those out, because I'm dying for some ribs. These are, well, I can even feel that they are perfect right yeah. now. So, you know, all you gotta do is 
Look at that, you crack it open, and look at that sauce on the bottom, right? I mean, you can even flip them over, but they're very fragile right now, so I say once we cut into them, we'll dip them around the sauce and go to town. Do the honors. Oh my gosh. Chipotle root beer ribs. Well, you just, I mean, what we can do is just start picking the meat off. We don't even have to cut them. Just saying. How's that? Like yes. savages. Well, uh, okay, so once again, this is with your own homemade ground chipotle, brown sugar, salt, garlic powder, thyme, and some paprika. Am I missing mm -hmm. anything? A little That's salt. Salt. Marinate it for a like, couple of hours and then put in some root beer and roasted or slow and low for like two and a half and your hours. Your aluminum pouch, it's great. There's only one thing left to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna dip mine in some of the sauce. It's a little spicy with the chipotle, but the root beer just puts that fire out. This is some of the best in the oven, slow and low cooked ribs that I've had in a long time, and it's what root beer base did. Ooh. And this has been an amazing thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. And I'm gonna see you next week with another super delicious, tasty recipe. Ciao. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. I am making a veggie burger. Yes, why? Well, because sometimes we just want a veggie burger and it's okay to have one even though sometimes I might be stuffing some pork inside mine. But today, no meat, just vegetables.